there, I'm Trisha at Club Scrap with a tutorial on how to transform your binder into an awesome resource full of ideas. We have a couple of things to help you out. The first is a printable, and I've gone ahead and printed this image onto our beautiful eight and a half by 11 hybrid um, white stock. It's 80 pound cover weight, so it's nice and heavy duty. And you'll see we have a printed front cover back cover and then some spine insert options for your binder. These are designed to fit perfectly. Now there are a couple of ways you can go about preparing these um, sheets to insert into the binder. You'll notice that there is a little um, hash mark, it's a little X right here, and if you want you can use your trimmer. Now what I would recommend doing is just a trim that's kind of close to the X marking the spot so that you can see it better and align it perfectly with your trimmer blade to cut around all four edges of your piece. And then just make that one last trim. And now I've got a beautiful cover and then you'll repeat that process to create the back cover insert as well. Now another way you can do all of this is um, with a craft knife and cutting mat. I'm using Club Scraps beautiful um, blue uh, cutting mat here. It measures 13 by 13, so it's a great size for scrapbooking. Um, and here is the series of spine options that I have, and I'm going to be using, um, I think, page formulas in this particular binder. So this is the spine insert I'm after, and I'm going to be using our awesome uh, retractable blade knife here and my grid ruler. So I'll line up the edge of the grid ruler with the intersecting point on that registration mark and just pull that blade toward me. And then I will go to the other side of the spine. And then I'll rotate the paper. Perfect. So now I have all the inserts for my binder. That is for the outside. Now make sure that you open it and the pocket is in the bottom. I don't want to put these in upside down. So I'll slide that right into the front and it just fits like a glove. And then I'll slide this back. Now remember, these, these items are a download, so you'll have to print them at home and you can do it in grayscale or in full color. That'll be totally up to you. And when you print on this heavier stock, it gives you the strength to be able to slide that in without crink crinkling. All right, now what do we put inside? Well, we have Finally, long awaited printable of um, volume five of our idea deck. This is one suit, this is the spades, and, but now the format is much larger in that five and a half by eight and a half size, which I love because now I can see it even without my reading glasses. So we'll take two sheets at a time. I've printed this also onto the, um, that beautiful white cardstock. So this is the cover page, then the ace, the two, the three. Then I'll grab two more sheets and cut them in half at five and a half inches in my trimmer. Queen King. You can do the same thing for the formulas we send you every month as a member. Just print them out onto a nice stock so that it's nice and sturdy and um, add it to your your beautiful new binder. Okay, for my template now, I'm gonna use my grid ruler just to gauge where the holes are going to be. And um, so I'll center this at, so it reads four and a quarter on each side. Then I'll take a pencil and just make a mark. I'm a half inch up from the edge here and I'll make a little T mark at the zero center. And then at two and three quarters from center on each side, two and three quarters. I will double check to make sure I have those measurements correct before I punch anything. And yes, those marks line up perfectly with my binder rings. So that was a zero center and two and three quarter inches from center on each side. I had this handy uh, crocodile punch. You can use any type of a hole punch, but since I'm doing a stack here, I wanted to be able to punch through several at a time. So I'll use this as my template and I can just see where I'm going to center up my hole and squeeze to pop out those three holes for the binder rings. 
And then using that first one as my template again, I will punch the rest. Then I can go back into my binder, open those rings, and insert these beautiful pages. And they'll be there as an awesome resource for me. So every time I sit down to scrapbook, I don't have to waste any time wondering what to make. I can just turn to one of my favorite page formulas, gather my paper, and get started on creating. I also want to just take a moment to ask that you not share this download file with anyone um, who has not purchased this from Club Scrap. Uh, many, many countless hours of work have gone into creating this for you as a resource, and um, by not sharing it, you help us keep continue to do what we do best. All right, well, enjoy your new Idea Deck downloads, and um, all four suits are available, two suits for cards and two suits for layouts. Enjoy.